Hello everyone and welcome to my video. In this video I will be unboxing, configuring, installing and testing the Campark 4K Ultra HD Dashcam model DC10. Please take a moment to subscribe to my channel. The Dashcam comes in a nice box. It has the following specifications. 170 degrees wide angle, 3 inch LCD display, Maximum resolution of 4K on with 25 frames per second. J sensor lock. Loop recording 1, 2, and 5 minutes. It has a capacity of up to 32 GB for a micro SD card. Built in light ion battery, basically for the parking, and it has a basic parking mode. The camera itself feels well made. It's on the light side. It has a nice 3 inch LCD display, well protected when it's packaged. Not too big lens, also protected. Here I'm removing the protections. It feels well in the hand. Not too big. What comes also in the box are the following items. So these are some cable guides trimming tool to tuck the cable behind your car's trims. This is a permanent mount. It goes on the top of the camera like this. It's a small mount, it's not too big. So the camera goes like this on the windshield. This is a charging cable. It has sufficient length, but unfortunately it doesn't have a USB output, so it will monopolize the 12 volt socket. This is a suction mount in case you want to change the camera from car to car. A small mini USB cable and it's really really like short amounts. It's not really useful. You have a surprise card in case you want to do a review on Amazon I guess you get a, a gift or something and well-made user manual in English. and in French too, which is a good thing because we're in Canada. So here are the full specifications of the dash cam. In case you want to see them, just pause the video and look at them. This is all that comes with the camera. To insert the SD card, it is on the side, simply insert it gently and push it in. Turn on the camera to configure it by plugging a 5 volt mini USB cable in it. The camera will turn on automatically. As you see here, it will show me that the SD card is not formatted. I will not format it at this stage so that I can configure the camera. Go to the menu, press the menu button on the left and I will go by the settings one by one. The camera comes by default on 2K video resolution. I am putting it here on 4K resolution, 24, 5 frames per second. Video quality in reading it at very good. Loop recording, it has three options, one minute, two minutes, and five minutes. I will put it at two minutes. Travel lapse, I will keep it at off. 
white balance automatic contrast also at zero exposure zero power on recording yes checked so that camera that will start recording each time you turn it on timestamp yes i want it plate number stamp i don't like to put it so i'm not entering the plate number of my car here press the menu again it will go to the general settings of the camera parking monitor i will put it on low so this is the impact detection sensitivity is on low j sensor also i like to put it on low so that not each time i hit a bump in the road it will trigger the locking of the file recording sound yes volume middle is good keystone i'm keep it, keeping it on on light frequency auto and this is the card information delay shutdown i'll put it at the smallest delay for shutdown which is five seconds i will format the sd card here it will take a couple of seconds to start formatting and here it formatted the sd card the micro sd card languages it has many languages french is misspelled there date and time if you want to set the date and time which is a good thing to do i'm not doing it here just for the sake of accelerating this video screensaver and this is an important feature i'm keeping it at the lowest setting which is 30 seconds it will turn off the screen when you start driving but it will keep on recording and these are all the settings for the video recording and the general settings of the camera to go to the camera settings go to the camera mode and then press on settings again and here you have your usual camera settings I will keep everything as it was on default and here's the camera installed in the middle of the windshield to install the cable you can run it through the headliner from here it will tuck in easily and then behind the a-pillar make sure it goes always behind the a-pillar here so it doesn't interfere with the airbag operation in case of an airbag deployment the cable will stay behind and then over the dashboard you can hide it behind the weather trim and under the dashboard here you can hide it and all the way to the 12 volt outlet of the car here's a look at the camera from the outside it's visible and it's not as stealth as other cameras now i'm starting the car here and you see the camera fires right away it takes about 15 seconds for the camera to start the recording and here's the camera started recording now this is a light frequency automatic setting you see it detected here the light and it adjusted the camera frequency driving in an underground parking the picture quality is good and enhances the transition from the underground parking to the light and the transition is also fast and seamless i can say that the picture quality is very good As I mentioned previously, the camera's default video recording settings are by default 2K. So make sure you configure it on 4K to get the full benefit from this good little dashcam. One thing I like particularly about this dashcam is that it is lightweight unlike other 4K dashcams. 
Yet, even if it's lightweight, it feels very well built. As you see in this video, the picture details and quality are amazing, especially at this price point. All the details are here. Even though this camera is 170 degrees wide angle, the picture at the sides of the frame doesn't get blurred. Road signs, license plates, left, right and middle are easily read. A good surprise I found about this dash cam, although it is less important than picture quality, is the sound quality. It picks up sounds very well and it has a wide frequency range for recording sounds. Here in the rain you see also the dash cam records good details and the picture is bright and it's not dimmed. One thing I found unfortunate about this dash cam is that it supports only a 32GB microSD card, which at 4K is a little bit less than 4 hours of recording. This is very little taking into consideration that sometimes you have locked files that cannot be overwritten. At night, the picture quality remains good, although a little bit grainy, but details are here, there's not too much blur from the lights, and look at the cyclist at my right, he or she are clearly visible. Details are here, overall it's a very good camera. Parking mode in this camera is basic and it uses the internal battery upon impact detection to record 15 seconds of footage. I will demonstrate parking mode later on. One thing I didn't like about this camera is the emergency lock button. If the camera is in screensaver mode and you press the emergency lock button, it will not start record from the first press. You should press it twice. Here I'm demonstrating the parking mode. I remove the power from the camera and I give it a gentle tap, simulating an impact and it starts recording. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up, share it and subscribe to my channel. Thank you all for watching.